Did you know you can upgrade to the latest Windows 11 25H2 without using a USB drive and without losing a single file or app? Whether your PC is new or a few years old. This simple method lets you experience the latest Windows 11 25H2 version safely and easily. So if you want your PC to feel faster, smoother and cleaner, stay tuned till the end and follow every step carefully. So let's get started. Before starting the upgrade, check a few important things. Check your Windows version. So right click on Windows Start and select Run. Now in the Run dialog box type Winver and then press Enter. If you are on Windows 10 like me or an older Windows 11 build, this guide is for you. Backup your files. This process keeps your data intact. But you can backup your documents and desktop folders for safety. Free up some space. Make sure you have at least 25 GB of free space on your C drive. Once these are ready, let's begin. Open your web browser and go to the official Microsoft download page. Now scroll down to download Windows 11 Disk Image ISO. Click the drop down and select Windows 11 Multi Edition ISO. Then click Download Now. Select your language and click Confirm. And then click 64 bit download. The ISO file will start downloading. It's around 6 GB. I have already downloaded it earlier, so I won't download it again. But make sure you do this step on your site. Wait until the download completes. Once downloaded, go to your downloads folder or where you saved the ISO. Now right click the ISO and then click on mount. A new virtual drive will open showing all windows setup files. Now select all files. Now right click and then copy. Now open this PC. Click on local disk C. And here, create a new folder named Win11. Now paste all the copied files inside this folder. Wait until everything is copied. Now open Windows Search. Type CMD. Choose Run as Administrator. Now in Command Prompt, type this command. C colon backward slash win11 backward slash setup.exe and then press Enter. Now the Windows 11 setup window will appear. Now click on change how setup downloads updates. When it asks to download updates, simply choose not right now. We will handle the updates after the installation. So click next. Now accept the license terms when prompted. Now click on change what to keep. Here you will see three options. Keep personal files and apps. Keep personal files only and nothing. Now here I recommend it choosing keep personal files and apps. This will safely upgrade your system without losing any of your files, apps or settings. 
it's the best and safest option to go with but if you choose keep personal files only your apps and settings will be removed and if you select nothing it will completely erase everything just like a fresh installation so to be safe always go with the first option keep the first one selected to upgrade without losing data then click on next And now click install. Windows will now start upgrading your system. Your PC may restart several times. Don't worry, it's normal. This process can take 30 to 60 minutes depending on your hardware. So please be patient. Once the installation is complete, you will be greeted with the brand new Windows 11 25H2 welcome screen. After the installation is complete, go to settings. Then go to Windows update. And click on check for updates. It's always a good idea to install the available cumulative and security updates as they help keep your system secure and running smoothly. Oh, I almost forget to show you my Windows has completely changed after the upgrade. Just go to the Windows search bar and type WinWord. Then click on it. And now as you can see my system has now been successfully updated from Windows 10 to the latest Windows 11 25H2 version. And that's it. You have just upgraded to Windows 11 25H2. Without using any USB drive, without losing data and without complex tools. So that's it for today. If this tutorial helpful then please give it a like, share and subscribe our channel for more tech tutorials and tips. Your support really motivates me. Thank you. Thanks for watching.